Hello everyone. We posted our first women's self-defense video on the internet. We, get, we got a very good uh, uh, feedback from our students. Many people are checking the video. But we got one comment on the, on the, on the YouTube that captured our attention. Basically, someone was saying, yeah, this is not martial arts relevant. If you get a six feet tall, 200 pound guy attacking a little girl, trying to sexual assault her, what you thought over the internet won't save her life. Okay, what we showed on the internet is the very first uh, basic foundation that you teach a newcomer to your school. It's not advanced self-defense, it's something very simple. I'm very skeptical about teaching uh, advanced self-defense moves because they require a lot of training, they require uh, months of training in the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu program to actually uh, uh, make that work. So in other words, you need to create the physical awareness on the student, you need to create the basic foundation on the Jiu-Jitsu self-defense moves, so then you're going to start teaching them uh, advanced self-defense, how to design someone, uh, how to, to, to defend like uh, 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 someone trying to hit you with a, with a stick, with a bat, how to design someone trying to stab you. These things I don't like to teach over the internet because you can get someone hurt. You get a kid at home who never uh, trained Jiu-Jitsu before, you will try that, you will get hurt. But in response to you, who does not, who does not believe in the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu program that we teach in Gracie Baja, I decide to show that actually we can, we can uh, save someone's life using Gracie Baja Jiu-Jitsu. So here is Miri. Come over Miri. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. She is a hundred something pound girl. Okay? And you asked also for six feet tall, 200 pound guy, right? So here is Officer Fakuri. How are you Officer Fakuri? He works for a government agency and he's going to be our bad guy today even though he's not a bad guy. But just so you know, he's not six feet tall, he's six three, and he's not 200 pounds. We just came, off the, uh, we just came out of the gym, we we're working out together, and today his weight was 255 pounds after the workout. So it's more than plenty to show you guys that Jiu Jitsu works. So let's check that out. Okay, so right now, Officer Fakuri gonna attack Miriam from behind and gonna put a gun on her head. Let's see what's gonna happen. Come down, please, please, come down. Okay, guys, excellent. So, common situation. This guy, really, someone who wants to, to, to shoot you, he's not gonna come and put a gun on your head and put it on your back, back stronger. Just gonna come quietly, boom, shoot you and kill you. Obviously, this, uh, the, uh, the, the, this is an inclination of someone who wants to get something off mirror. So, let's break the movement now, is analyze the effect, effectiveness of the Gracie Baja Jiu Jitsu. Okay. So Miri, right now we go back to the same position, okay? Officer Fakuri, let's turn a little bit over here towards me, okay? Officer Fakuri, gonna put you in a strong, we're gonna put the gun in your head. So first of all, you have to create a distraction, okay? The distraction is you surrender, okay? It's a fake surrender, by the way, okay? And I don't know if you noticed, but she got herself on her jiu-jitsu stance, okay? She lowered her center of gravity, okay? Right now, her hand is very close to the gun. So she's gonna grab the gun in a such an angle that he will have, stop right there, okay? He will have, take his hand off, you have no power to turn the gun towards him. Try, try all, your, all your strength, officer. Okay, impossible. Okay, he's in a bad angle. So we're gonna reach with her left hand, his right wrist, okay? And then she will step out, okay? Her right leg, and gonna start to turn the gun towards him. And in, in that way, she can never get shot. If he tries to pull the trigger, he's the one getting shot right now, okay? So then, the, the, the leverage she creates is so powerful, if he insists grabbing the gun, he will break his finger, as you can see over here, a lot of pressure on his finger. Can you resist the pain, officer? Okay, so Miriam gonna pull the gun towards her, step back, she'll step back, and he's disarmed, she's with the gun in his hand. So guys, here's the truth. All the martial arts, they, they have something to teach you any style, it's worth of training, okay? But I do believe in the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu so much, in the Jiu-Jitsu we teach in Gracie Bach, 
Because it's not a style based in strength, speed, size, or power. It's based in leverage, as we just saw over here a, a couple seconds ago. What are the chances if my wife, Miriam, would be an uh, extremely good kickboxer or boxer and she would hit Officer Jamil? Okay, he would laugh off that. Okay, because he's just like too powerful and too big. Okay, it's, it, it's impossible to over. Uh, 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 power to overcome in, in terms of strength a guy like that. I can't, she can't. But with using Gracie Jiu Jitsu, using the Jiu Jitsu we train in Gracie Barra, you can actually overcome someone. So right now guys, I want to please ask you, don't try that at home. If you want to learn uh, Gracie Jiu Jitsu, the Gracie Barra Jiu Jitsu self-defense, come to one of our schools in Illinois and you're going to learn all sorts of self-defense moves. Uh, this is not the second video on our sequence, okay? We will teach you the next move, which is something very simple you can try at home. But this is just a response for someone who does not believe in our Jiu-Jitsu. And I hope right now we create the awareness and the sense that this is actually worked. Uh, I can count several uh, testimonials of people that I helped to save their lives. And I found myself in several odd situations too, even against armed people that tried to shoot me, that tried to kill me. And since I had no other choice but fighting, today I'm over here to tell you guys the stories. Okay? Uh, people abroad, uh, in, in the battlefield, soldiers that were trained before. So it's very rewarding to know that you're doing something that can save someone's life. Thank you very much for watching us. Gracie Barra Jiu Jitsu, right here in Downers Grove, Illinois. Jiu Jitsu for everyone. Officer uh, Fakuri, thank you very much, sir. Nira, it's always good to train with you. Okay, guys, this is it for today.